Hello, beautiful people. It's Tuesday, and I want to bring a video to you. This was originally supposed to be a Saturday stash dive, but I think some of the scheduling got mixed up or confused, so I did not post on Saturday. My grandmother was in the hospital, and I went to take my girls to visit her and kind of ran out of time and got busy, but I apologize for that. I know I had prefaced that I would have one, and then everything just kind of got askewed, so I'm just showing you some of the product that I'm using there, and I know my little stamp pads are really old, but if they still work, I'm still going to use them, so I don't have to buy new ones. And I wanted to go for something that was using border stamps. And I wanted it to be kind of light and airy and reflect some of the time that I spent with my friend Edie. And we were at the lake with my bestie Bradley. And so here I just, I when I was organizing through my stamps, I just found a ton, a ton of border stamps. I didn't realize how many I had. And so um, I thought, well, I need to use them. So you see me using them here and just kind of sticking with three colors, which are kind of green, yellow, and blue. And instead of using them as actual borders, I kind of used them as trim. I wanted them to look kind of like trim and just make a design on the page. So that is what you see here. And I also wanted to do some water coloring because I do think that's kind of appropriate for the lake. And I pulled some scraps and that doodlebug turquoise vellum polka dot. And then I do end up fussy cutting out some of those flowers from, I think that's Highline, the Basic Gray Highline collection. And I do like the way this page turned out. Okay. Sorry, my daughter was coming to get her keys. So, yeah, I just kind of started to figure out how I was going to layer up my papers and um, where they would be placed so that I could go back and use some other stamps to uh, stamp along the edge of those first stamps. But first, I use my little paper trimmer here to make some decorative edge. And it's funny when you watch videos because videos are such a different perspective than in person. So it's always interesting how it turns out. Sorry, I'm kind of snacking here. I was starving. I've been on a dead run all day. So anyway, I was kind of looking at placement of where the photo and the layers would go. And I just start pulling in each one of the watercolors that kind of match those stamp colors. And so the blue with the blue and the yellow with the yellow and the green with the green, so on and so on. So I'm sorry I'm kind of off camera here, but you get the idea. And on camera, it looks like that green is kind of going the wrong direction, but in person it looks fine so it's kind of strange how that works and I've had some ideas lately of some different techniques that I want to try so or ideas that I have in my head I've just been so darn busy lately it's been nuts crazy London started school back today thank goodness um, she is a ninth grader officially in high school and maybe <laughs> I can get more done around here. 
And I think I did cut out some of this time that I spent fuzzy cutting so you wouldn't have to spay, uh, paint, blah. <laughs> what? I can't even think of the word now. Painstakingly. There we go. Watch me. So that's why we skipped. Um, I did also go through some of my kits, my embellishment kits, when I was going through my stamps and trying to organize them. And I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to use stamps on this layout and watercolors. So I take those same three colors and um, I'm kind of priming the stamp there because they had not been used. But these are from the Oh Dear Me kit. And that ink didn't work really well against that textured paper so that you could see the words very well with those stamps. So I do end up cutting or cutting, uh, covering those up. And I think that uh, you know, in order to get a, a really crisp image, I think you would have to use either a totally flat cardstock, which I don't really like, or you would have to use maybe VersaFine ink in order to get some of that detail out. So, even though I like the idea of stamping little label sections on top of the border sections, it didn't turn out that great so I do go back and use those little sections that look like labels for um, me to put some words inside of and I do like how that turned out but it's like little tags and cutouts I take one of the project life cards and cut it up Sorry about that. Still trying to get a bite to eat. Um, and I way over salted my broccoli, which is normally the opposite. I'm usually not that heavy handed, but whew, I guess I didn't realize I had already salted it. So I am lit up on salt. Let's see. I am running low on my foam tape. I need to get some more of that. If anyone knows of any good deals, I think Amazon was the last place I heard that had a good deal on that big roll of foam tape. It's funny how the industry will jump on something and then you can't find it anywhere. <laughs> Ooh, and I did get a couple of goodies in the mail and I am expecting a few more. So I'll have to do a haul share with you soon. And the little file folder that you see there is from Simple Stories uh, Vintage Bliss. And I don't end up using that hot day. I just, it was too big. It's overwhelming. Let's see. And then I wanted to use, I love those little lake stickers by Pebbles. And I want to use them so bad, but I never can figure out a way to use them on a page. I'll put them on there and then they'll bother me and I'll pull them off. So you'll see me do that in a minute. And again, like I said, on video it looks fine, but in person the color was off big time. And I did use some of the new Adrian Lumen for Webster's pages. And that's like the little label stickers and the circular stickers that you see there. And those are the Ocean Melody and Strawberry Fields line. And I love those. They're just so gorgeous. I just have trouble mixing and matching like something like Ocean Melody with Pebbles at the Lake. <laughs> it almost seems like too different to me. So I do end up taking those two blue stickers off and I start using more of the Adrian Lumen. And I wanted to use some of the, uh, see all those blue letter, alpha letters? Those are my mind's necessities. And I do end up putting just 
the title, which is Twos and Edie. Because that's my girlfriend Edie that came in from Vegas and we hung out on the boat. do I do? I do end up backing that on another piece of paper because it gets a little warped from the watercolor and what have you. This layout did take a while. I'm kind of out of practice. When you only do one or two a week, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm, if I do one every night and I can just whip them out like crazy, but if I only do one a week or something, it's like I can't even think. It's I'm, I can't figure out what I'm doing. And in the summer, I use every chance I get to spend outside or on a patio or at the lake or something fun. In the winter I'll be busting them out because I won't want to go outside because I hate the cold. I really don't know how people live up north. Although all my friends that live up there keep going, you need to move up here. The selection for men is so much better. And men aren't like that here and I'm like, oh, you know, I just give up on men. <laughs> But it does sound lovely to just, I don't know, some days you just want to run away, you know, do something different with your life. But I know that's not the way to handle things, so I just stick it out. I figure if I'm supposed to be alone, I'll be alone. Ow. Oh, I just hit myself in the chin. <laughs> Let's see, what else do I do here? Mm. Oh, I just add some buttons. And, okay, so I took this sailboat and it was a natural wood. I think it's from Studio Calico. It's a little wood veneer. And it was not matching well enough, so I put white gesso on it. And it blended in with the yellow really well. And so I took some chipboard from my freckled fawn kits and some um, of the ephemera pack from the Simple Stories Summer line that I got in my Scraptastic kit. And that's what you see me kind of playing with and embellishing and that and the buttons. Just trying to cover up some of the well, not cover up necessarily, just add to some of those stamped images. And that's also where the, um, the poly resin asterisks came from. Those were in a Oh Dear Me Freckled Fun kit. So even though it took me a while, I know it doesn't look very complicated. <laughs> It's just, um, I wasn't having, I wasn't feeling my mojo, so I do end up using some of those little Martha Stewart uh, pearl accents, and they're just called uh, mini pastel pearls, and some of the little chicken nitty enamel hearts that are like enamel dots, but they're hearts, super duper cute. And I think that's kind of wrapping it up. I'm trying to think of what else I might have used. The words, the little label words, were from uh, either Creative Imagination or that Project Life card I cut up. Oh, yeah, I do go back. Now, I kind of regret doing this. Um, I really like the glitter um, chalkboard ink sprays, but I wish I would have stopped at just the green because I then go on to do the blue and the yellow and 
It just was a little too much. If I just did the green, I would have been much happier. Oh, and there I put the date. That's a Studio Calico roller date stamp. But I thought, hmm, just the green, I don't know. Let me add to the blue and the yellow. And when I sprinkled those mists, it just took it a little too far, so. But I do end up doing that. Yep, sailboat blue in the Adirondack and then the yellow in the Delusions. Yeah, that I should have stopped. <laughs> but you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, and I do like the layout. So I hope you do too. If you wanna see any of my other projects, then by all means subscribe to my channel. I would love, love, love to have you as a subby. And please thumbs up the video if you like it. Um, and I do have a Facebook page that Robin and I post to, and I would love for you to post to it as well. It's called the Pretty Paper Page on Facebook. And here I'm just securing the back on an old sheet of paper, actually, that I would have never used. So I'm excited I got to use it. And there's the final project. And some close-ups. If you want to catch me on Instagram, my username is TrueLane. And also, you can find me on Pinterest as Tuesday Hubbard. So... That's it for now. Hopefully I will talk to you very soon. And I think my next project may be mixed media. So I've got a couple more videos to load and then a mixed media page I'm gonna do. And I'm already pulling supplies. So have a good evening. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.